morning, Mr. Speaker. This question is for the Minister of Education. Speaker, this government's laissez-faire approach to COVID-19 has to order. pushed families to the breaking point. Every day, more students and education workers are getting sick. A record high of 1,222 cases last week alone. More classes are being sent into isolation. More schools are being closed today. I just checked a quarter of the schools in this province have reported cases. Despite all of the photo ops, the minister has failed week after week to reach his own goals for in-school testing. Parents are trying to understand why this government would repeatedly say they believe schools should remain open, but then do almost nothing to make sure they could stay that way. Speaker, yesterday, the Minister of Education admitted that, and I'm going to quote, the risk profile has changed. So why hasn't his plan? Respond, the Minister of Education. Twenty in the nation. That is not a coincidence. It's because we put in place a plan endorsed by the medical community that include masking, cohorting, stricter screening before children enter a school, and expanded testing. In fact, under the Minister of Health's leadership, in the March 7 to March 14, 57,000 tests were completed on youth under the age of 18. We are fully committed to dealing with the increasing risk within our community. We appreciate that the risk, the rising risk in community creates challenges for schools. But to put into context, because the member opposite focused on the negative, let's reverse that and focus on what is taking place in schools today. 75% of schools Order. in Ontario, 75% of schools in Ontario do not have one active case. 98 point 69% of Response. schools today are open. 99% of students have no case at all. We appreciate the risk. We'll continue to elevate our plan, continue to invest to keep schools safe. Thank you. Question. Back to the minister. Nothing to see here, eh? Nothing to see. The risk profile has changed because this government refused to act and walked us straight into a third wave. They held back Order. funding when it was needed most, and that left schools vulnerable again. I want to share with the minister, Speaker, something that Allison, a parent in my community, wrote this week. She says, and I quote, the safety precautions for primary students in September are well and truly the same and unchanged today. We are relying on luck to get us through the school year without potentially contracting COVID-19. Speaker, parents were frustrated in the first uh, and second waves. Now they're just plain furious that this has been allowed to happen again. Will the minister listen and act before more people get sick? Minister of Education. Certainly, uh, that constituent would appreciate knowing that the member's office would have kept schools closed in 2021, which is contrary to the best interests of student mental health and development. For this government, we put in place a plan, $1.6 billion plan. It depends on the day in question period. They focus on the investment. The next day, it's a reduction in expenditure. But really, the inconsistency is their strength. When it comes to the government, our consistency is an investment, is a plan endorsed by the chief medical officer, felt the foremost medical leader in Ontario, has given his stamp of approval on our plan. It is not a matter of of luck that 75 percent of schools while we face a third wave do not have one case at all it's not a matter of luck it's because of prudent planning and listening to the best medical advice opposition come to order point six percent of, of schools remain open today as we deal with this global challenge we appreciate the risk we've elevated our protocol with one symptom Response? screening with better quality masks with the cohorting of students with better cleaning and of course enhanced access to testing we will continue to follow the best advice to keep every student every staff safe in this process Yes,